So today I'm just responding to comments, uh, giving everyone a personal reply. So let's jump in. So Jarvista, 18 hours ago on my now infamous video where I'm critiquing Merbeast's uh, critique of Chile's federal defamation lawsuit. All right, so he's, Javista says, I see that you went to Google University just like Chile. They're even more lenient with handing out those PhDs in stupidity than they used to be. Google University. So I don't know if Chile is actually an autodidact where he's all completely self-taught and all. I, I don't know if he took any uh, actual law classes. Uh, I I have so uh, PhDs in stupidity. Uh, th thanks for your comment, Jarvista. Potentially criminal at twenty three forty four. Just admit you're not familiar with bank bankruptcy. Uh, I don't know, so you, you don't provide any details uh, on what I'm not understanding about about bankruptcy. I um. To refresh everyone's memories, so Murbeast had said that um, Kate and Josh probably don't own enough things where their exemptions wouldn't cover everything if they filed for for bankruptcy. And I said, I I don't think that's the um, that's the case. I mean, maybe that's where I was wrong because I don't know how much homes cost in Massachusetts. I don't know their uh, f financial situations, but uh, I did say, you know, that typically you either lose everything or you um, or you pay, pay over time. And a lot of people think that's not true because of the exemptions. So, I mean, the exempt, a lot of the exemptions, the Homestead ones, I, I think are, are a newish, but a lot of uh, times when you're filing bankruptcy, there's already liens on your on your property, so so that's been my, my experience. So then, when you so then it, it really is a choice, right, of of uh, a, pa a payment plan or losing the property that has has liens on it. But what else could I could I have said about bankruptcy? Uh, yeah, I. Uh, I don't. That's the right, because I I was speaking in general terms, and, but that's some of the edge cases, right? That I I didn't mention. I mean, you could pick a hole in everything I say, right? Because there's that, there's edge cases to everything. But I would love to to discuss uh, bank, bankruptcy uh, law with you, and um, um, like I wasn't even really. I don't even think really I was attacking. What Murby specifically said about bankruptcy, I was just adding more, more context, because like, like the how long the the bankruptcy affects you and how it's going to affect other creditors in the future. So I don't know. Let me know where I was wrong. We can talk about it. So on a different video now, it's my stay right video. Chica monkey. I uh, tried to say that in a British accent, but I totally failed one day ago. Dude, you haven't got a clue what that statute means. Uh, new channel of a kid mumbling nonsense. It's simple. If you are, say, a horse, buggy, and are five miles per less than the actual speed limit, and you then move into the left hand lane and still remain less than the speed limit, you are in violation of section 21554A. Uh, that's that's not what I yeah, that's not what I said. Uh, so the the law says despite the speed limit, you have to move the the speed of the traffic. Uh, well, but you do bring up an interesting point where I didn't say. I mean, mostly I didn't say you should stay right. Mostly I said, if you're in the left lane, here's the when you're breaking the law. But but yeah, you should. Um, if you're right and you move into the left lane um, you be breaking the law if you're not doing it to pass someone and you're going less than the speed of the flow of the traffic 
It's definitely not something that I did a um, example for. As for no case law on this, yes, there is. You just need to do better research. So I would love to see what you came up with. Um, when I pulled it up, there was only a handful of cases. And uh, I didn't say that there wasn't any. I, I even mentioned some. I mentioned one where um, some case law about um, liability and then another one about how this is being interpreted. And it's the interpretation that I provided, by the way, and not the one you just did here. So the reason these statutes are modified is because we create faster vehicles, so road speeds were changed to keep up with technology, therefore horses and cart were slower than most vehicles of the day, which is why the statute states anyone not keeping with a legal speed limit are to keep the right of the road, thus not depriving people of the right to travel along the pub public highways. So this is interesting, right, because it's kind of the basis for um, Shelley's delete laws thing. Uh, you know, um, a lot of times they just add new statutes, right? They don't modify the statute, but they modify the statute. I mean, this statute was originally in the 50s, which is well after the horse and cart, and then it was uh, amended in the 70s. And um, I said that the uh, amendment made made no sense. It definitely did not have to do with uh, uh, new technology. So, um, and nothing to do with faster vehicles. So, I was just rereading that to make sure. I don't know, there was a lot, a lot there. So, uh, Peter Jarday about the same stay of the right video one day ago. Uh, did you write a script for this or did you just turn on the camera and mumble for 30 minutes? P pretty much, right? I um, did not write a script. I we used bullet points. They, uh, I realized afterward that they weren't necessarily in the best order and uh, I was missing some. I'm trying to do better better in the future. So what is, Lonely Wolf says, what is, we're getting back to the defamation critique of, this is a defamation lawsuit. Uh, a lawyer critiqued it, um, the complaint, and I critiqued the, the lawyer's critique. So Lonely Wolf says, what is your law education? Is it like Chilito's, who has zero law education? Uh, what is your law education? I, I see no reason to to drop um, my creds. I, I think Murphy said the same thing, right? But um, it is not zero, and I do have formal formal law education. Uh, Odin says discussing law, you should be delete laws lawyer. I think you could beat Kate Peters. Um, I I. I agree. Thank you. I think I don't know. I I, I th think it's a good chance that Chili's gonna beat beat Kate without a lawyer. In uh, I'm responding about the defamation lawsuit. I mean, he's he's lost a few uh, restraining order uh, hearings. So, Augusto, LOL, at Odin. Thanks, Augusto, for the uh, humor or brevity. So, sorry, not brevity, levity. <laughs> um, Kelly says, you need to review the h 2 h three lawsuit. Okay, Kelly, I I'll do that. A-Rod says, love that he tells on himself and is complete and utter BS by saying out of his own mouth seems like something a lot in the delete law circle do to themselves because referring to default judgment he states i've watched over 100 not that he's worked on or tried but simply watched so how would i try i, I don't know so there's a lot of things that just speak lay, layman here to me first of all but this guy is uh, 
Is 100 a YouTube lawyer at best and Bobby Law's at worst? Also, how are they not news reporters when it comes to them discussing the same kind of fraud or scams local news is uh, constantly re reporting on? All right, so uh, I've only heard the second hand that Bobby Law claims to have um, you know, been in thousand lawsuits or whatever. So I don't speak in hyperbole. So I'm not going to say that I was a party in, in 100 uh, default judgments because it's not true. Uh, you would have to be an attorney that works for a collection agency to have that happen. That that's, doesn't dis describe me. Uh, but um, definitely, right, just because you're not a party to it doesn't mean you shouldn't. You should be watching and learning. Also, how are they not news reporters? Um, so, yeah, I didn't really go into that. Uh, if you read case law, um, it, it's obvious how they define a uh, news reporter. And uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember what, what that was um, because it's been, you know, a week since I refreshed my memory on that. But um, I think it's it's obvious here, right, that um, news reporters typically uh, report facts and then maybe provide a, a, an events that happened and then maybe provide opinion at, af after that and then they have a relationship with uh, the legal system and they um, typically verify things before they report on them um, but it's interesting because uh, ba basic, basically, that's not right. That's not Kate, and I was I was gonna say, I doubt that Kate has um, error error and omissions um, insurance. Uh, but it's also interesting that um, right, if you have error and error and omissions insurance, you probably are in the media, and then you're more less likely to need it because then um, that. That exclu um, exclusion re replies to you. Um, so JJ Thomas says, um, "Stop, st just stop." I guess you passed the California bar the same time Shelley did. So, um, uh, so um, it's clear, right? I mean. Chili. So it's comments like these, right, where I struggle um, because there's really no response. There, there's no response. It's just an attack. So I, I think Chili said he, he plans on taking a California bar, so he, he hasn't passed it. Th thank you for your comment. Um, I thought it was interesting that you said something about where suits could be filed based on what Kate had directed her followers to target. Um, one time she literally told her followers to find him in a certain city and go after him. Chili literally has on film one of Kate's followers following him in his car at night outside of his Airbnb and Chili confronts him. These people that follow this woman are like Trump supporters that love to hate and love to harm. If they get the clearance they go full force for their leaders it's insane one time Chile was traveling and the woman that was working the counter at a gas station came outside and tried to hand the phone to Chile because someone called and described his vehicle and told her it was an emergency who does that who works that hard at tracking him on the internet and connecting him to an actual location to call him and make threats over the phone and Chile never talks about Kate he has made maybe four videos where he mentions her and that's only after she went after him time and time again. This woman has five or six months worth of coverage on him and when I say five months I mean five months and every day of that month it's been constant. It's clear that she has some kind of desire to harm him. Yeah I can't understand the, the troll per personality. I mean obviously they get some type of um, positive feedback in their brain some endorphins maybe uh, maybe it's uh, 
like a, an a, addiction to aggressive behavior. Uh, it's kind of like, right, um, beating up on kittens. So uh, it's um, definitely um, maladjusted behavior, but it's an addiction nonetheless. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's something that really happens. I mean, you can be in a cult that doesn't troll people and you can just be a fan of your follower. And so it's, you kind of have two things going on here, right? Like uh, people are just fans of, of Kate. Uh, they, f they feel a connection. And then you also have the, um, the trolling part. So it's an interesting dynamic and, and, I, and I totally agree with you, Rachel. Um, Chili has been the professional one in this. Uh, trying to keep it cool, uh, you know, and towards, uh, you know, recently he's uh, been struggling with uh, not reacting to the, the trolls, but I I totally agree that like, if you're coming from Team Kate, you, nothing's going to convince you otherwise. If you come in and you're already a follower of, of Chili, I mean, um, your team, Team Chili. But I think if a neutral person came in and, and saw um, both sides at the at the same time, that it's it's clear who uh, the the saner, uh, more um, s definitely more socially acceptable and likable uh, people are, and it's it's chilly. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty toxic, and the, the people. The people need need help. The things that they do, in order, I don't know, either to to um, gain advantage in, in the group, um, status wise, or just because they're um, just pumping that heat into their veins. Totally addicted. So algorithm, uh, who has an interesting username, says. You pen pale men in prison, don't you? To, to Rachel Anderson, I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, uh, I don't. That seems like a a trolley, a trolley accusation, and not a, a real question. I mean, the odds are that Rachel doesn't doesn't do that. So, uh, Augusto uh, Pinochet. I hope I'm not murdering your, your last name, dude, if that's even your real name. It's probably not, right? If I Googled it, it's probably like some famous troll. So, uh, algorithm, LOL. Oh, thanks for the LOLs, again, for your levity. So, Lonely Wolf uh, says, it's because Cholito himself has shown where Chile is. Also, the last protection order Cholito tried to get, and also um, stated Kate was tracking her and couldn't prove it, it was her. So, I don't think you, you're doing victim blaming here, right? Um, Team Skeptic talked about this, the uh, or David Ogle, right, in his video the other day says, uh, you know, you do it to yourself. You um, stupidly show us a picture uh, while you're streaming of the sign of, of a gas station that you're at. And we know what state you're in, and maybe there's only three gas stations in that whole state. And then he doesn't say this part, but right then you can look at um, Google Street View and see which gas station you are at. And then we can send people there to harass you, or we can call uh, the attendant at this gas station and um, tell them that they have, um, you know, whatever words they use to describe Chile at your gas station, and you should be afraid. It's just it's 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 horrible. It's um, not legal. It's um, it's harassment, and um, and um, the harassment has nothing to do with the defamation lawsuit. So Javista says, Rachel, quit trying to sound educated. You're killing what precious brain cells you have remaining uh, from 18 hours ago. Uh, 
again, it's just a very tr trollish thing to say. Uh, I would guess that Rachel Anderson is more educated than Jarvis Dunn, and so he's feeling a little defensive about that. So, um, Rachel Anderson uh, says, this was a very honest and fair assessment of this lawsuit. Thank you for leaving your feelings out and reading this like a true professional. Uh, oh, thank you. I was uh, trying to stick to the facts. I'm amazing. You left all your personal feelings to the side and did an honest review. I don't know if you, you're really a lawyer, but you're exactly the type I would hire. This is how a real attorney does his job. He looks at the law and the facts, period. Um, I appreciate the, the comment, Rachel Anderson. You're one of the um, few non-trolls that has commented. Uh, I mean, really, um, I'm I'm glad that I found I found the this needle in the haystack. Filled my bucket. So Nick McKenzie says this guy sucked his legal knowledge right out of chili must drink more kool-aid uh, so so right Kate's the one with with the cult so uh, go drink more more Kate kool-aid and Nick um, so uh, and the funny thing is right that you can't drink more kool-aid to be honest, right? Because it kills you, so you can't drink any more Kool-Aid. But this guy sucked his knowledge, right? Okay. There's, there's really nothing. There's nothing to respond here. To th thank you, thank you, Nick, for, uh, um, for the trolling. So Tom Magnum says this individual uses the word "um" a lot. Yep, this is unbecoming of a person alleging to have some type of legal expertise. I, I don't, yeah, I don't think those there's a correlation between those two. Just an observation. Yep, it like, and you don't even like really need super good observation skills. Like I rewatched the video. There's a lot of ums in there. Uh, a jury would probably find this type of communication um off-putting, but thanks for the um effort. Anyway, so um, I, I appreciate this type of of humor, actually, right? The observational absurd absurd humor. I, I get it. Um, well, well said, Tom. But uh, I, again, you know, it has nothing to do with it. Like uh, uh, most legal experts don't need to talk to juries. But um, if I was talking to a jury, I would be more prepared than I have been on these videos. So maybe Adam McGuire says, maybe you could go back then both could sue for some friends in high school. When you lose, at least he will have your nasal, at least he will have your nasal voice. Dunce kept legal beagle skills after, and you will have the Pamela Anderson to every man. So Adam, I'm, so, so first of all, you made some, I do have a nasal voice. Um, you've made fun of someone's intrinsic attributes, right? Violation of YouTube's TOS, but I'm not going to make fun of you. Um, I mean, if it's obviously that you are maladjusted, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to make fun of you f for that, right? You probably have no control over that uh, at this point. You could be helped. Um, my days of voice was a lot worse. It's been helped. Um, with uh, proper speech therapy. Um, and I'm also going to just assume that English wasn't your first language. Then assume that maybe um, your experience in high school was cut short, possibly. 
and you didn't have any friends, getting a little defensive, I, I don't know. But Augusto, Pinochet, says zing, lol, he, he thinks you, you made a good, good troll argument there. Um, so Adam again says, hey, are you Zayner? Because you sound like you're fresh out of the library. So I, I think it's clear that I, uh, oh, Zayner. Yeah, I could be Zayner, right? I mean, he's kind of this mysterious figure at this point. So Kate never told anybody, go get Shelly. This was all him getting butt hurt. Have you seen the messages he sent to other people who have reached out to him and some of the disgusting things he's done to people just generally? Yeah, I we know that's not true. I mean, a Adam, it sounds like you, you aren't as in with the group as you think you are. Maybe you haven't been invited to the Discord because uh, uh, Team Skeptic and Kate have both admitted that they, they definitely have people um, stalking uh, stalking um, Chile and harassing him. So that's ask for access. Maybe they'll give it to you. Uh, check out that meltdown video where he calls her a bad word and tells people he doesn't care if he wins or loses, only was going to cost you money through court. So I, I mentioned this in, in the video that you're commenting on. Hopefully you watched it. A, a lot of uh, defamation lawsuits are uh, revenge. And, um, you know, revenge can lead to, se to um, settlements, though. So I think uh, also that uh, he, if we look at the merits that he, he could win. So, Mal, Mal Ronderos says, 450, 447 views and six whole likes. Good job, little guy. You keep going. Someday you'll get to 10. So I, I think this video has more than 10 likes now. But uh, I, I'm not that familiar with YouTube maths. I'm kind of new to the YouTube channel stuff. But it, it seems likely that the view count is always going to be higher than than the like count. So that's all I got. All I got for you, little little guy. Hmm. So right, that that kind of speaks to like the people who like use their fists to solve arguments because they don't have the brain capacity when you start right trying to intimidate people to get to win arguments and get your way. Augusto my man another LOL. Thank you. Appreciate it. L X says I thought you were an attorney but after watching the video I would guess you're not. because I would have expected that to go in the opposite direction. We didn't know if I was an attorney. You watched the video. It made legal sense. If you have legal, if you have legal sense, you probably don't. So you said something that was not in the documents or mentioned by Merb. So I have to ask if you are our friends with Chili. Uh, I am not friends with Chili, but I... I I am familiar with the context of the things. I, I have been watching the videos, and I was watching the videos before I I critiqued this video. I've I've been watching the videos about the drama. Uh, and um, Murphy did the same as well in his critique that I'm critiquing. So just by watching Chilly's videos and seeing his behavior, he would pick a non-lawyer that he labels as a scholar to create a channel and blast other attorneys for reviewing his, his lawsuits. So uh, so I don't even think 
I don't think Chili had seen Murby's video, and if he, he did, I don't know if he would have caught all the errors that, that I did. Um, so it would make no sense for him to request for me to, to blast it. But uh, Ch Chili was kind of evolved, right? Because of Chili, not through communications with him, but through watching his videos and his passion about law, I thought uh, it, it encouraged me to create my own channel and start making content. Um, and um, so there you go. So, so it's all suspect to me. Well, I hope I've cleared it up for you. Either way, you're not helping Chili by uh, being honest about this. So you, you do make a good, good point there. So I was only critiquing the, the errors, right? I did not point out the problems that, with Chili's lawsuit. And, and most of it is because I think that uh, it can all be corrected with an amend, amendment. It's, it's not a big deal. The, the like, <sighs> Any, anyway, yeah, I don't understand why, why Maurice critiqued it the, the way that he did. Um, and, and the reason I, I made the video was because after watching it, Maurice's video, a couple times, it was, uh, the, the, the errors that he made were ju just frustrating to me. And it's something that I enjoyed th discussing. So I made the video. And I thought, um, and I tried to do it in a respectful and polite way. Mostly, I did make a couple of digs in there. But um, I really wasn't trying to piss Murby's off. Uh, I... I um, it sounds like he laughed at my video, though. So, but he he was nice enough to share it. Uh, is that nice, or was he inviting the trolls? Maybe it wasn't nice, but you know, hopefully he and I can d discuss the law. Hopefully, you know, he doesn't let his ego get the better of him, and and he can admit to not being factually accurate all all the time. And I and I did see that he has um, access to Lexus Nexus now. Um, he probably had access, right? Well, I wouldn't say. I, it's possible his 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 employer doesn't doesn't pay for that. And so you would typically get those free while you're a, a law student. But I almost said, right? He probably had his access through his local bar, but no, the local bars do the cheap stuff. Uh, Lexus, I, I, Lexus and Nexus is the best. Uh, so, this is, algorithm says, this is Bobby Law. I, I'm not, I, I don't sound like Bobby Law. And um, my uh, legal ex expertise is, um, and analysis is, is more accurate. I, I feel, I've only watched, I've only watched one, um, video of Chili talking to Bobby Law on the phone. So I don't have a lot to go off of. I'm sure Bobby um, has some expertise. So Augusto, again, to Al Gore says, hello for reals. Al Gore them to Augusto, hello, not sure. Kind of sounds like it. No, I don't sound like Bobby Law. I would love to have his voice. Uh, Augusto says, yep, no, it's not, it's not true. So, um, Adelash, Ad probably murdered your name, or your handle, nickname, whatever that is. So you just started your channel, and you jump right into the Chili Saga. If you are truly interested in the law, I would suggest that you take another look at your video. Chillers is really, really off the mark and has no legal experience. The person you're critiquing is an actual lawyer, unless, of course, you went sub subset, which I'm guessing is sovereign citizen. I I don't know much about the movement. I don't know if that's a legit abbreviation of it, but I don't know what he means by that either. Unless, of course, you went sovereign citizen. 
But yeah, I knew he was a, a lawyer when I was critiquing him. I think he's a family lawyer. And um, Ch Chili's figuring it out. And I, and I already said what, uh, how I got, I kind of jumped into the, in the saga. Yeah, it's, it seems a little abrupt, right? I agree. So, Marcus Gal says this is Zane. In response to Alash, no. Well, maybe, right? No, no, I'm not Zane. So, um, he is kind of a mysterious figure. Morgan Gale says, oh, oh, is it? Why haven't you responded, Morgan Gale, to Adelash? He wants to know. Four days ago, he asked. Where have you been? You have a nose plague? So, and exactly what attorney would take this case on for Chile? You know, I, um, any, any attorney, because uh, it doesn't appear to be frivolous. Uh, hopefully, Chile would hire one that has experience with def defamation in fed and federal court. So Chile could not even spell Kate's last name. How that could, is he going to prosecute this? So first of all, Kate does have a weird last name, right? It's a first name. She has two first names. So I, when I first heard it, I thought it was Kate Peters, and then I realized it was it was Peter. But mostly I think that's uh, typos, because he, he um, obviously is busy and hasn't had a lot of time to, to re review his writing for errors. Or, right, maybe he did, someone did review it, and he was like, because um, it's time sensitive, right? He wants to get that file as soon as possible. He's like, they're like, dude, there's nothing that can't be fixed in an amendment. But I'll just go ahead and file it. So, are are you dumb enough to take a case like this on? I doubt it. So, I think his case. I think his case has merit. Uh, I'm not in a position to take this case on, so it's it's kind of irrelevant. But I would, I would do it. So, um, I, I mean, I think there's better lawyers out there um, for this case. But to answer your question. I, I feel like I've answered it. All right, so let's move on. Check G. We're at 38 minutes. Mo uh, most of the way through. So, and exactly what attorney would take... Oh, wait. We already read that. That's who I was responding to. None of these cases will go anywhere but the shredder is all of the courts he has filed in. So I think he's going to have better luck um, in the more formal court court setting, right? All of the um, the hearings he's been at before, are basically in, informal hearings. Um, Chile has a, evidence, and that's hard to introduce in those hearings. He's he's definitely struggled with that with the the judges. Uh, it's it's the experience he's had has 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 not been fair to justice. Uh, and I think he's going to have better luck. And um, actually, if I was him, I would file the the restraining orders in, in my home state um, under, well, first of all, file a police report. Uh, hopefully it would get investigated. You know, it depends on what the, his local police force's relationship is with um, the Massachusetts people. And... Um, File uh, ex parte restraining order, and um, and then because of the more for formal um, hearing for the, we actually like have an, uh, a time slot on the docket 
you would have, um, I think Chandler would have much better luck in that formal setting to, for the quote unquote permanent uh, injunction uh, trial. So that's what I would do if I was him. So you as an attorney should know this. Uh, these cases that Chile has filed are nothing but a way to harass. I I don't think they're 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 frivolous. Uh, they're uh, maybe a little naive, um, which should should be definitely be excused. So answer this question: How many of these big lawsuits will it take for a court to decide that Numnuts is filing fr frivolous suits? So th there's no no such thing, right? I mean, to get on the vexatious litigant list, it's based on the number of suits, whether they're frivolous or not, um, that, that you file, at least in California. But, you know, each lawsuit is determined to be frivolous based on it, its merits. And um, I don't think he's filed any frivolous ones. Chuck G, again, as of right now, Kate has crowdfunded almost 16K. All of Chile's stupid lawsuits will go the way of dinosaurs. As soon as an attorney answers Numnut's lawsuit, he'll never show our answer. So I, I don't, I don't know if we have, uh, have, have the track record to make that um, cor correlation. So I don't know where, where you're getting that from. That uh, Chile. Know, doesn't follow up on it, his lawsuits once an attorney gets involved. So I, I think he would he's going to enjoy that part, right? Knowing that if uh, Kate and Josh hire an attorney, then it's costing them money, and it's not costing him money if he continues pro se. And as far as Kate doing crowdfunding the sixteen thousand, I I don't think it was legit. Uh, based on you know just looking at the. the the uh, list of don of donators is what they're called on the the campaign, and the amounts um, that were made, and uh, the the numbers don't numbers don't add up. Like I'm not I'm not a math expert, but no, numbers don't seem to add up. And and, and even if it did. Um, 16k is not a lot of money. That's you'll you're gonna burn through that so quick. Um, that that'll save her, right? One credit card, right? One of our credit cards will be spared because of that. So, Lily Rose says, Merv is the biggest creep of a lawyer I've ever seen. What a loser! I haven't watched his other videos, to, so I I can't say, but um. You have um, sparked interest in me. I will go watch some other of his videos. Um, at this point, all I can say is that um, I don't know. I I hope that he can get past his ego. He he might have e some ego issues. So you sh um, a jackpot says you should call back on your porch to totally Rose. Uh, with uh, sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, that. I don't know. That that was pretty trolly. That, that's all I can say. Thanks for your, for your trollness. So, Rusty Emerson, you're absolutely impossible to listen to. Get some speed from Jose or something. I'm gonna say IKR. I, I it's really hard to listen to me. I, I, I agree. I, I'm going to work on that. At least replace my my word where I pause to think uh, when I get the tip of the tongue syndrome. I'm going to replace the um with something else. So thanks for the, the feedback. I'm working on it. But thanks for listening anyways. And and um, the solution for the speed, right, is instead of me going fast, you can increase the speed of your your, your YouTube's. Uh, D Desert Sentinel, uh, it's the guy who um, provided the 
the copy of the of the um, Chile's federal complaint to Murbeast for his review. He says, interesting. However, you have no idea about what documents are available and the details within. It, it's true. I, I only know of the one that Murbeast um, critiqued. Made assumptions about certain documentation, which your analysis is completely wrong. Uh, so I feel like I made way less assumptions than, than Murbeast did, but I don't know what you're specifically talking about. I w I'd be happy to discuss it. Are, are you part of Chile's team? I, uh, not at this po point. Please ask him how his lawyer's trip to France was. I, I don't have that line of communication open. Would Chile do that? If you have a video where that's discussed, I would probably take the time to watch it on 2x speed. So Chile is of the idea that this will be all him. Okay, that documentation specifically, his documentation is off limits. That witnesses are exempt from being compelled to testify that his books wouldn't come into question. So I've I haven't heard that from him, and I've I watched most most of his videos, but I I think he's he's aware that uh, witnesses will will be testifying, and that he will have to actually prove uh, the, the the damages. So I think that's what you're talking about. Chile's idea that this would be all him. I, I'm, I don't know how to interpret that. Um, if you, if I, so if you're saying that Chile thinks he's going to win, I, I, I think he will win a portion of what he's asking for. Uh, don't know where you get your information from, but but you're wrong. If you talk about the legal analysis, I am, uh, I'm, I'm going to say I'm right. I mean, if there's something that you find that I said was wrong, share it. Uh, if I have the wrong information about Chile, it, it's possible. I just, I don't watch all of, all of the trolls' coverage of him. So, uh, Chile is walking the wrong path with this. He is a petulant child with his hand firmly stuck in the cookie jar and claims otherwise. Good luck. I I don't know if he's walking the wrong path. It's it's uh like I would be I would be seeking legal action. Well, I would probably do it in a different order, but I don't think he's doing. He's taking the the wrong path to uh to slow the trolls down. I I think possibly the wrong path is that he's uh, given uh, he's responding to the trolls too much right um, but as far as the cookie jar I because Chili Wright had a successful YouTube channel I'm pretty sure he had more f followers is that what they're called yeah followers subscribers then then Kate I, I could be wrong about this I'm speaking out of my butt um, and then um, Kate started distracting him, and uh, things kind of moved the opposite way. And so, it, in that way, you know, Kate's kind of the one that stuck her hand in in um, Chili's cookie jar, uh, trying to steal. Oh, I don't know. Hi. I know she's she's clearly in the in the wrong. And the lid of the cookie jar is, is definitely coming down now. So, if she, if Kate thinks she's gonna get off scot free, that Kate always always wins. We'll see. I mean, already she's lost. She, she had, right, take some time away from her YouTube's and go into court, and they had to take a, some showers and dress up nice. So. Every little, all right. Unless she enjoys that, maybe she enjoys. Maybe she enjoyed that. 
So Leo's mommy to Desert Channel says, great comment, who is this clown? You know he is a puppet of Chile. Chile had this wannabe lawyer do this. How stupid is this kid to think this lawsuit has weight? Um, I, I always find it interesting when, when women start doing the calling people kid. Uh, I don't know. It definitely says a lot more about them than, than it does about me. So he would never prove any of this. Chile got kicked off TikTok for racist comments. Uh, he is the biggest joke in the world, and this moron is truly annoying and talking out of his his butt. Well, thanks for watching the video. I'm, I'm sorry that I annoyed you. It was not my intent. I'm not. My intent is not to be the, the troll that you and your group will attempt to be. Um, uh, you know, I've heard Chili say he had like 300 subs on TikTok. I'm not a TikToker. I, I don't, I don't know the details of that. If you have, if you have the deets, share them with me. Uh, as far as he'll never prove any of this, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be so clear, so clear, all all the judges got to be, because he's going to want the context, is watch one of these videos of Kate that is trolling and harassing, um, telling statements of, if they're a fact when they're obviously not. It's, uh, they're, they're, um, Ch Chili might not get everything he's, gonna, he's asking for, but it, it's pr it seems pretty clear. And those of you that that think it's not clear, haven't watched my video. Or you're just delusional and uh, believe everything uh, that uh, non-experts are telling you. So, Alpha Fox Adam, we're at uh, 52 minutes. I'm going to try and speed up. So it seems as if Murbeast uh, was using the term poisoning the well in the non-legal sense, I, as an informal fallacy, irrelevant to uh, to tame the jury. So, I, I did consider this too, right? That he was using the term, you know, you know, as if when it, as what it has to do with critical thinking, right? But it's really the same thing because if he's um, saying bad things about Josh and Kate and the uh, lawsuit to, to taint um, and prejudice the, the party. Who's who's he trying to taint? The jury? Well, well, the jury doesn't read the complaint, right? The judge? Well, the judge is supposed to be tainted. So, so really he's saying this, he's, it's the same thing. So, potential criminal says, shh, he's watched hundreds of trials, bro. Uh, so, Right, so, so a lot of cases don't make it trials, so it's actually hard to watch a hundred trials. But I have watched a hundred hundred trials. I, I think you're referring to the your earlier comment of on where I said I watched a hundred um, <sighs> hearings. So. So anyway, shh, bro. And um, Al Fox Adams says to potential criminal, ha ha, ha yep. All right, so are you, and I've, you know, I've watched at least a thousand hearings. Uh, so are you Bobby, oh, internet god says, are you Bobby Lodge's replacement? I think there's time, everyone has time to where I don't have to be a replacement, right? I could supplement. I could be supplement. You could watch Bobby and me. Does Bobby have a YouTube channel? So, Bobby Bishop says, could this be Chilito's new legal beast, LMAO, another fail? So, uh, 
I, I could be. I'm open to it, but um, if you're referring to um, Chili's videos where he says he has a new legal person, I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's Zane. I, I don't know. So Mortgage Gal says, about four, 45 minutes ago, this new channel popped up on my feed, and the video said the person who was writing up these lawsuits and filing motions is this guy Zane. They said more is coming out about Z, and he's not an attorney. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not Zane. Mortgage by Mr. Mortgage Gal. Was it this guy who did the video on Merv's video? Am I the guy that did the video on Merv's video, or is there another guy that did a video on Merv's video? If there's another video on Merv's video, please, please share it. So by Bishop to Mortgage Gal. Yes, that's how I found this video. What? Are there really two videos about Merb's video? I know I now I gotta find out. So by Bishop to Mortgage Gal. That guy was so weak it was hilarious. Now I feel like you're talking about me because I don't know, my voice is weak. Maybe there's a guy who had weaker arguments than me. I mean that's highly like me because my my arguments are pretty solid. I bet Merb was laughing big at that clown. So I so he claims I've been laughing at my video. Uh yeah, I didn't find his video funny. I it was just annoy, annoying. The errors were annoying to me. So, dude, Delilah says, "Oh, Chili himself says, dude, this was a good breakdown. Murby's got hammered. Almost every part of his breakdown was wrong." So, to be fair, a lot of it was wrong, but I didn't critique the parts that. They were right, I said in my in my video. But but yeah. Um I think if you would have relied on Murby's um analysis of the claim it would have seemed weak. Um and it's it's not. Uh so I'm glad you watched my video. I hope it helped you out. So Alpha Fox Adam says Fred? No, I'm not I'm not Fred. I'm assuming that was directed at me, even though we put it under delete laws' comment. Hanzo says grifter. Let's get him. I'm assuming he's calling uh, Chili a grifter. Uh, I think everyone who calls him a grifter just doesn't understand this startup community, and, and um, most of most of them fail. And it, it's always a team effort. It's not one person. Uh, I doubt Chili's and independently responsible for those failures. So um, Desert Chantanel again says, I personally think you should sue him in federal court. I think he's telling Chile that you should sue Murbeast in federal court. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on uh, if that he would have any merit. So for Fox Adam says, doesn't say no. I agree. I wonder why Chile doesn't sue all of the attorneys that criticize him. And David, uh, well, I don't want to move on, but I should respond to this one. So, so, so he's he's probably hinting that you you, you don't want to sue an attorney. I mean, I, I don't see why not, right? Only a fool represents himself, so it's not like the attorney's going to be representing himself. He's probably going to hire another attorney. The uh, my first lawsuit was uh, against an attorney who is now a judge, um, and it went went very well, and she did not represent herself. So uh, she spent a lot of, spent a lot of money on uh, attorneys actually. So, uh, and, and you know, that was my first first experience um, defending uh, a, a motion for summary judgment. And um, I, I appreciated that, that experience. So, da David Gunn says, 
Delete Law, so your little fake attorney Fred has a YouTube channel and begged him to make this video LMFAO. Just shows you Kaime Michelli is a big baby, lol. So I, I, I've pointed out that I'm, not, I'm obviously not Fred. I mean, I don't, I don't sound like him. Does Fred have a YouTube channel? No, I think he's inferring that I'm Fred and I made a YouTube channel. That's doesn't even make sense. I don't, I don't think you're paying attention, David. That's your sentinel, tell Fox, because they're lawyers, right? Doesn't sue them because they're lawyers, yeah. And then Fox Adam. Back to the desert. Bingo. All right. So, Chuck G. Hey, Jelly, did you ever freak out? It's Peter, not Peters. And by the way, she does not own herself. Did you graduate high school? I mean, statistically, I don't know Chili's history, but statistically, likely he, he graduated high school because he's an American. And um, it happens here. So, he's old enough. But um, again, the the Peters, just just typos. I mean, I did think it was hilarious when watching Murby's videos now, where he kept, even when it's, I don't know, he says Peters is this is this. It was hilarious when I I first saw it, and I, I continued to laugh, and and you might even find me doing that from now on. Uh, it, it, it's a good one. Um, it definitely deserves to live on. So. Mortgage gal to Alpha Fox Adam. About four to five minutes. Oh, same thing. She's mortgage gal said above. Alpha Fox Adam to Mortgage gal. I think Bobby Fred is still helping him write them based on the style. Zane seems to be helping ser him serve the individuals. Uh, th right. That's what. That's what I've. I've heard. Right. He said that he he had Zane try and serve. In my opinion, successfully served Kate outside the courthouse in in Boston. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. I would I would not have given up on that battle. I, I think Chile was went ahead and hired a, a process server to do that when she tore it up. But I I would have just had Zane uh, file the proof of service. Uh, so I would have given her less time. Is the only reason why. Well, uh, you know, the however much you pay for the process server, I guess that might be relevant too. So Alpha Fox, Adam says, um, Bobby is still helping him write them. I, I don't, I don't know if anyone's helping him at this point, right? It, it doesn't seem like anyone's. He, he has had time to have it, have anyone review him or help him. Um, he's just um, he's just going forward, um, trying to get as much done. And um, I don't know if you guys have been in this situation. I've been in it a lot where uh, you just sometimes have to do things on your own because there's just not time to collaborate on someone. And you just got to do your best. So uh, uh, on my How to Sue a Company Like YouTube, or gave me some uh, rolling on the floor laughings and some joys. And then uh, Laura again says, you seem to have failed the same YouTube law school for dummies that Chili failed. Good for you. So actually there's a lot of good stuff about the law on YouTube. My channel, I hopefully will be one of those uh, one day. I mean, the content I have is good, but I don't have a lot of content at this point. And I'm, I figured out my audio issues, I think. But um, if you had, Laura, if you had taken some YouTube law school for dummies classes, uh, you would know that I didn't fail. And that Chili hasn't failed. And um, seven days ago, when you said this, on the next day I said, hey, thanks for watching. So I was trying to be nice at the time. N nothing uh, nothing to say at the time other than thanks for watching so Odin says discussing law don't let these guys stop you from your path keep up the great work legend 
Uh, thank you, Odin. Really appreciate it. Uh, again, it's nice uh, to have those needles in the haystack of trolls. Uh, fills my bucket. So Texas Wolfman says, now you have more comments than you, you have subs. Again, um, I said IKR, IKR at the time because I, I th thought it was interesting, observational, right, absurd humor. I, I get it. Uh, I don't know if the math law ma makes sense, though. Um, but I, I think what he was saying is, hey, I, I helped you out. Now you have more comments and subs. So I don't even know if this guy's a, a troll or not, if he's being being nice. So. Uh, so I am a jackpot, says. Is Chili sleeping on your conscience and smoking your dope? So he's not sleeping on my couch. Would I let him sleep on my couch? He has a lot of uh, troll, troll followers. I don't think I would want poop, poop on my porch. I'm going to rip my doorknob off. Uh, I don't think my family would appreciate that, but I wouldn't mind hanging out with with Chili. He seems seems cool, good 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 people. Um, as far as smoking my dope, uh, well I um, did you got you gotta bring your own dope and and you gotta you gotta smoke it um on the back porch. Gloria Ad says to I'm a jackpot. Oh, that's funny, Chili ain't sleeping on no one's couch. That's just how much you know, jackpot. Chili is a good person. I agree. He's got more love than any of you trolls. You're hateful, mean people, and need to stop bullying people. Totally agree, Gloria. Uh, yeah, it's it's really unconscionable, the stuff that Chili has gone through, and I'm sure he doesn't even share share it all, right? I mean, I hope it gets introduced as evidence, but uh, I'm sure there's stuff that we're, we're not even seeing, and he's he's keeping them together better than, than I would. It's just, just to toxic, toxic, toxic people. So, uh, so Gloria, we're, we're on the same team here. So, uh, Lily Rose to Jackpot, are you, are you sleeping on your mom's couch? That's a good one, right? Because he talks about smoking dope and he, he has the sunglasses and OG. I, I wouldn't doubt it, right? So, uh, Adam says, Gloria, tell Chili stop bullying women because you just need to Google his name and two restraining orders come up. There's one from 15 years ago that just renewed this month. Um, that basically lifetime restraining order. So, uh, if you if you have the deets, I would love to see it because um, he has a very unique name. It was easy for me to pull stuff up, and that I didn't see that. The only restraining orders I saw were um, Chili filing against against other people. Um, but you know, it really doesn't mean much. I mean. Y because you're this huge K fan, and, and, and K fan has, has had restraining orders filed against her, right? Three of them, at least. So, doesn't make you, doesn't make you a, a horrible person necessarily. It all depends on the circumstances. So, Matt Steele says, ant equals ain't to Gloria. Or is that your pet name for him because he's so tiny? So, uh, good catch on, on the table. Uh, Gloria's um, spell check was sleeping. Uh, thanks for your observation, Matt. Um, as far as Chili being being tiny, I don't know. Depends on what videos you watch. Someone said he was four foot seven, but I, I think they're a foot off. I think he's he's like five seven, five eight. So he doesn't seem, I don't know, doesn't seem 
some tiny. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. So Lonely Wolf uh, to Goyan. How is he not sleeping on someone else's couch? He doesn't have a house to live in. I don't does he? I don't know if he's a property owner or have a self-driving van. People keep mentioning self-driving vans. I think I missed that reference. Someone could share share the video that I missed. That that would be great. Um, which was most likely was repossessed. Um, you posted this a day ago. I, I you need to watch Kate's video, Lonely Wolf. You you're not caught up. Uh, it wasn't repossessed. It was a uh, it was stolen. So uh, Tom Mafia official Kate possibly says how adorable. Possibly one of the nicest things. That I will ever hear from Kate. Um, yeah, Kate, I have no will against you. Um, I think you could uh, direct your efforts better, and and I think I think it'd be um, stop being so stubborn. I think now would be a good time to refocus. So you don't need to see if you're gonna win this lawsuit. But, um, I know you probably, I don't know, you probably mean this in a mean way, how, how adorable, right, that Chili has someone who has, right, saying good things about him, so, ah, uh, it's not, it's adorable like a kitty, I don't know, so if Fox Adam. Once their credit cards are maxed out, they're going to settle. Yep, sticking to it. That's definitely true. Also, I wonder if the good attorney here is aware that the charges were raised by the judge in the protection order hearing. I I don't I don't know, but um, I don't think defamation has a lot to do with um, harassment. I don't, know. I don't, I might not have the whole story here. Um, Desert needs to share some stuff with me. Uh, so, or, or Kate herself. So, uh, Constitutional Kate says, House Jail. Oh, I think this is to Kate. House Jail, I know you definitely enjoyed your um, cavity search. Sorry, they don't have computers in jail. Hi Shannon, Foshijo, but if I'm wrong, why are you so quiet on your channel? Hmm? So it, it is interesting because there was some quiet on um, time where um, Kate's goon, I, I don't even know, I don't know how, what, what, how you refer to him, the one goon that's always on her um, videos lately, and um, and Shannon had to do the the fund, the fake fundraising benefit on, on funding f for her and uh, people, and there was some rumors, right, um, from Turtle Boy ish group saying that Kate was possibly gonna face some criminal charges. So I think there, you know, you know there, there definitely was rumors that Kate was in jail, but I think it's been clarified that she had the the nose plague, the nose plague. So. Murbeast, um, this is the last comment, says, uh, I gave you a shout out on my Discord. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, you know, at the time, uh, I thought, I didn't know if Murbeast had any animosity towards me. And I appreciated the shout out, so. Uh, like, I'm just happy that he he watched it, so. I gave him a heart and a thumbs up. And potential criminal response to Murphy's. Uh, this guy is painful to listen to. I am. I. It's probably true. I apologize. I'm working on it. I'm definitely. I had audio issues in my first few videos. I'm working on getting rid of the ums. Uh, my cadence is probably at times slower than Murphy's and at times faster. Uh, but keep, keep watching. 
and you'll see the improvement. Well, thanks everyone for watching. If I uh, if I missed responding, I, I apologize. Just keep commenting. I'll make more of these videos. Probably one a month until it gets crazy.